Hello everyone, I'm Barigari. I think that is one of the Ghanaian languages. Oh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Bula and um, Abari Gari, I believe that is a Ghanaian dialect, I forget which one. And I'm out of the state of Virginia. I've lived uh, most of my life there. I was close to the history there of the beginning of the uh, 17 colonies. And of course, like everyone else in school, I learned about the, their history and their version of things. And only recently in my life have I begun to become more conscious of the real history behind the meaning of the things of the Santa Maria, the original ships that came into the harbor in Jamestown. And the more you learn, and the more you come into an understanding of your consciousness, as James Baldwin said, uh, to be relatively conscious in the United States is to be relative in a rage most of the time. Yes. And I don't want to spend all of my energy <laughs> being angry and being on a rage of things that are have happened to our people and are continuing to happen to my people. So I said I need to take a break. I need to get out of here for a while and kind of clear my mind. And that was my impetus to come out and join the uh, tour here in Ghana. And being here in Ghana is more of a journey of discovery. I wanted to know, of course, what the land was like, what the people were like. Uh, where could I possibly fit in here? Um, what my contribution could possibly be here? So as we're traveling, as we're touring and all that, I am observing and um, seeing, you know, what's going on here. And I have seen that the Ghanaian people are really very nice and easy going. They seem to be very nice and easy going. That's not when it comes to their money. They won't get their money. We know that, right? <laughs> when we are trading with them, they're definitely gonna get their money. And that's all to the good because uh, that's the way I see that they survive here and uh, contribute to their own economy. And uh, they have that option. I mean, there don't seem to be any kind of policy against them, you know, selling whatever, wherever they want to. I mean, you're in the United States, you know, to make a buck outside of the system can be very hard. So I'm pleased to be on the journey. I'm pleased to see more of, of the country. And um, I'm just um, open. I'm going to be more open. I have to admit, personally, I'm a very conservative person, and it's very hard for me to be open. And so on this journey, I'm hoping that you know, I can get past a lot of my conservatism and be more open to ideas that are new and people that uh, are new to me. So I hope you all are going through um, some revelations here and getting more understanding of uh, what life is like could possibly be more, I, I think, of course, wherever you go, you see things you want to change and, um, and just believe that you can be part of the change. So I'm thankful to be on the journey and to have experienced it all. And thank you.